Welcome, welcome to another installment of Let's Talk About Awesome Mods, because, hey, people love hearing about mods they might not have heard about, or their favorites being mentioned, yes. That being said, unlike RimWorld, where there are many varieties of things we can talk about theme-wise, Tenchi isn't quite as, uh, diverse, so to speak. So, for the most part, we will be talking about different mods that are just fun or interesting in these videos, yes. I said videos because Kenshi has quite the modding community, and we won't be able to put everything down in one video. So hit that like button to power up our writer to write more stuff. Also, for every 233 likes, a holy nation farmer goes another day without river raptors eating their crops. Our sponsor for today is our Patreon and Discord. I'm sure you've heard of it before, but it bears repeating. Support us through Patreon is one of the best ways to make sure we can keep making this weekly content. But even if you can't, just coming onto our Discord and chatting with us helps our spirit. Really, what I'm trying to say is, we at Team Noob appreciate everything our fans do. You guys rock. Alright, enough of this, let's get into the review. Brent, what do you have for us first? Expanding your roster with a 256 character limit. Definitely a mod I'd recommend for any playthrough. Having more people either to fight or just work on the farms can be such a help. Though word of warning, the game wasn't quite optimized to allow this, so do be careful if you don't have the greatest PC. Still, having all those people, I'm sure you can have quite the optimized city if you have all those people able to do whatever you need. Though you might have noticed the combat is a little odd. Like you might have noticed early on the fights are uh, just one on one. Even if it's just you and an entire group of bandits who want your stuff, you will always fight mano a mano. Not very realistic if you ask me. So how about putting in the attack times three slot mods? So now up to three people can target one person at once. Now fights seem more realistic. Sure, solo runs won't be as easy, but now you have the chance as well at dealing with single tough opponents. If you gang up on them, should also mention the workshop does have different variants of this mod, like the two times and five and so on. I like three is a good number. Five isn't completely overwhelming, but there does still add to that danger of fighting groups of enemies so you can't solo an entire group so easily. Speaking of groups, the racial diversity mod. This mod does what you think it does, add some diversity to groups, well if that makes sense. You won't be seeing skeletons in the holy nation for example, but now when you're wailed on by some hungry bandits, you might notice they have Shek or Hivers in their ranks. It definitely helps make the world feel a bit more alive. There is another mod to also help with that, the relatable bandits mod. As the mod page explains, and I quote, adds named status to many bandits so you can know who you are killing instead of hungry bandit or hungry bandits, plural, you can deny food to schlep of the hungry bandit. Great. I like that. Add a personal touch to your beatings or their beatings if you are stronger on that note. Who names their kid schlep? Shep. I understand. Cause hey, Shemp is cool, but Schlepp, the sounds like a nasty sound effect. Whoever's named that, I'm sorry your parents hate you. All right, sorry for the rant. What do we have next? Oh, recruitable prisoners. Oh, now that's fun. I mean it, this adds a whole lot more fun to your game because with diverse groups along with those names, you got the chance to get your own unique recruits without having to go all over the world into dangerous places and possibly play out the wazoo just to add them to your team. Well, okay, this mod, you might still have to do that and I don't know where I was going with this because my writer doesn't always know how to end a joke. Moving on, so how does recruitable prisoners work? Well, first off, you need cages. That's pretty simple to research. It's a third level research, second people to recruit, and this mod goes through a lot of people you can put into the cage to talk and try to convince to your side, though keep in mind it's obviously going to be harder to defeat and then capture higher skilled enemies and even harder to recruit. Now after you tending to them, and of course removing their weapons since they won't actually talk to you if they are holding their weapons, you can attempt to parlay with them. Some like the starving bandits only need food, which by the way keep in your inventory and not a backpack as they don't notice you holding anything if they're in. Don't ask me why, some like dust bandits want money and others require being spoken to by a certain race or someone who has certain stats. The stronger the faction at the times, the more complex the method to recruiting them, it's a whole wazoo of nonsense. Other bits of advice using this mod. If you have turret gunners, uh, save after recruiting someone and letting them go, then reload, that's because the game will still consider them an enemy and fire on them. So it just needs a small reset. Give them food by looting them and putting some munchies into their inventory so they don't starve to death while you try to figure out the right way to recruit them. On the subject of recruits, how about some mods that add new recruits to add to your team? First on the list... You. Come here, friend. Let's talk YouTube. Glad you asked. YouTube is an ancient content streaming platform that was used by the first empire to spread knowledge or entertainment. You see, apparently I come from an ancient heritage of YouTubers who once produced popular content on the platform. Pixel Rookie, it was called. Well, 
I wanted to ask you. I've been looking for my friend Hot Dog for a while, but I can't find him. Since you seem like an experienced adventurer, I was wondering if I could come along and search for him. That's right, you can include the one and only Rook from this narrative Kenshi series sporting some sweet dudes. A pretty good heavy weapon and decent stats for the early game. You got someone who could make the early game hell much easier. Definitely worth checking out. On the subject of other unique recruitment mods, how about the Weird Recruits mod? Wait, is that really the name? Yep, that's the name. Okay, fair enough. So the Weird Recruits put throughout the world a set of unique people to find and convince to join your cause. And they do have some uniqueness, that's for sure. My favorite is John weak who is a specific medic who actually stat wise has skills in the negative regarding combat or daniel the kung fu bug man really these people are pretty unique and definitely add a bit of flavor to your group they also come with unique items maybe not the best items but hey free unique loot is free unique loot definitely pick this up if you want more weirdness in your world though keep in mind if you play with this mod you do have to find them unless you decide to take the start that has them already in your team in which case well fair enough by the way for a quick mod that helps stability try the compressed textures mod sure they might not look as good as normal textures but your pc will thank you when it doesn't freeze crash every 10 minutes trying to enjoy your game on other mods that kind of fix a few things the copper drill basically acting as what a normal iron ore drill does except with copper bit confusing how in the base game it wasn't put in but hey i'm not a total mad lad who made an entire game setting and so on in the span of 10 years on my own so i'll give chris just a small bit of leeway after all it took a while for blood spiders to get their their insane attack range fixed. Hmm, I think I know what you want. You want mods that help out in the early game or in general. Well, my writer Brent does have a mod he always uses and lives by city farming. With this mod, you are now able to take city life to a whole new level with the ability to plant small gardens indoors, even if it doesn't look like it makes sense. But hey, I like the idea of being able to plant my early crops in the safety of my favorite starting town while I decide where I should make my base. This is great, also for early money making, as you can turn farmable cotton into fabric and turn it into clothing, or if you have a supply of leather, leather armor to wear, or sell. Definitely great if you ask me. Sure, a bit cheaty, I agree, but hey, maybe you want some early safe farming. Now, what is extremely cheaty is this next mod right here. Iron and copper scrap yard. Definitely a cheat to set up free resources that have a good yield, but my writer absolutely loves to use this mod, but not for the reason you think. Yes, it's cheaty, but it also allows you to build wherever you want for role-playing purposes, or perhaps just to see if you can build a cool base in a harsh environment without having to search for the right ore deposits. Yeah, this mod is a great for that sort of thing. You don't have to download this if you don't want to, but my writer wanted to mention this for that kind of purpose. By the way, how is living in the coast doing for you? Ugh, no thank you. Wait, 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 Soiling Green? Well, guess it isn't a Nubert video without some mention of war crimes. How are you going to do that? So, the Soylent Limb Mod. A mod where you can collect the fallen limbs of people and grind them up into a nice healthy soylent paste for your people to enjoy. Or go one step beyond and grind up the bodies directly. Really, I think it's a great mod for clearing up all those fallen limbs you can do anything with. Simple to use and great for being an alternative food source for roleplay sessions where you decide, hey, I want to eat everyone else. This is definitely good if you are in a mess with weak limbed or armored opponents like the Fogmen or Cannibal Tribes since they don't have armor, so limbs are more than likely to fly off. That is if you don't get wiped out by them. But I know what you are thinking. Hmm. I should check to make sure I subscribe to this awesome channel and hit that bell icon to be alerted to new videos. So after that, Newbert, I want something big that adds a whole lot to the game. Well, I suppose I should finish on the big mod. Bring it in, Bren! <laughs> You asked for it. New Weapon Dissemination Mod. A collection of mods relating to weaponry all in one convenient download file. This is a mod you will always be downloading because, well, look at this art. Mm. Look at those weapons. Adding more variety of armaments you are going to want to seek out and use. My god, these are awesome. And if this was just a weapon pack, I'd be done. But, uh, no. There is more. You get a minor faction that will cause you some problems. The Triangle Bandits, who, as the name implies, use triangle-based weapons you might think that's lame, but don't be fooled. Their weapons actually are some of the stronger weapons you can obtain, having great armor-piercing abilities and good overall stats. If you can find the plan somewhere in the world, <coughs> Mongol, <coughs> 
you can have an entire force armed with sharp as hell blades. And speaking of plans, if you can afford it, you might be able to find a special smith who can provide you with plans to create the newer tier of weapons, the luxury weapons, golden, sexy weapons, and they have power comparable to the mightier weapons. You have to search for, so definitely a worthy goal if you can pull it off. So nice, love it, and you will love this mod when you download it. Now, what else I'll love? Another funny meme. Brent, send in today's funny meme. Kenshi man tries to cross Venge. <laughs> uh, the light of God that rains down from the sky to destroy us all. This is what becomes of people that play Kenshi. You get struck down by lightning beams from the sky. Or I, I should say light beams from the sky. The freaking wrath of the sun comes raining down to kill us all. Well, people, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as my writer loved writing. He certainly has been addicted to the game lately. I'm actually kind of worried. He is saying something about painting Blister Hill with blood of the Arcanite and something about Narco's blade and that will fall to the might of his blade. Uh, yeah, yeah, should get on that. As always, let us know what you think. Comment some mods down below we should talk about next time. And of course, stay tuned for the next video. If you excuse me, I got some beak things eggs to grab or rather send someone else to grab. That way I can get some monies. Oh yeah. Or I mean cats, my bad. And as always, thank everyone that supports this channel on Patreon. We couldn't make these videos without you thank you all very much and all of our lovely lovely team members that help make these videos every week you're all amazing people